Hi there and welcome back to another video of techmarketer.io. My name is Julian and today I want to show you my solution for scoring within ActiveCampaign. Now ActiveCampaign has a scoring feature built in that you can activate by updating your account and it will let you give certain points to your users once they take certain action in your account. For example, open up an email, click a link, or visit a specific site on your website. And this is really useful if you want to find out what users are most valuable within your system of active campaign. Now this is already built in that way you can segment your users and send them out certain emails or put them in certain automations. This is all possible already with active campaign. Unfortunately, you need to be part of at least the plus plan in order to do this, which starts at $49 a month. I would say it's worth it if you have a small account that actually makes use of this feature heavily. Now for everybody else out there who is more in the email marketing space and doesn't use the CRM features of ActiveCampaign, you might want to take a look at my solution here that I've implemented for my email list running on active campaign as well. Now we have many more contacts that I also want to score, but it gets really pricey on the plus plan once you hit certain subscriber counts. Now my solution is completely free. It works with a little bit of app script, but other than that, you can do most of the functionality that you see within the scoring feature of active campaign through this app script. So let me show you how to set this up. First of all, you need to have a copy of this app script. Go over to techmarketer.io slash active campaign scoring and you can obtain a copy there. Obviously, you would need to have an active Google account so you can connect this to your Google Drive and then you can open this up in your Google Drive and we need to do some configurations. So first of all, we would need to change our URL. This is our API URL. So let's go over to our demo account here and under the settings, we just go into the developer section here and here we get our API URL. So we just replace that here and then we need our API key, which we also can copy from here and replace that right here. That should do it. Let's save this and go ahead and publish this. So we'll go ahead and go to deploy as a web app. And the only configuration here is that we need to choose anyone, even anonymous users. Then you can deploy it and it will give you back, first of all, a few permissions that you need to accept. So this will actually connect to an external service, which is the Active Campaign API. And then it will give you back your web app URL. Now this URL is actually kind of like a webhook that you can use to send data from Active Campaign to the script. And then the script will actually send it back to Active Campaign and update your contact. So next steps are simple. Let's first of all make sure that we have a custom field installed. For that, we will go over to our list and we'll go to manage fields and then simply build a new or create a new field. This can be a hidden field, All right? And the name should be score. Pretty easy. Let's add this. Now this should be added to all our contacts. If you go to our contacts here, we see we have a new field called score. And that's all we need. Now we can already start doing our scoring. Now, how does that work? We are pretty flexible when we use automations. So let's go over to our automations here and just build a new automation from scratch. And we can use any kind of trigger function that we want to. For example, events is great. We did another videos on how to capture them within active campaign, but an easy one would be open or reads an email. So let's click on that. When a contact opens any campaign, is okay. Let's add this as a start. And then we want to update his score. What do we do? Well, we make use simply of the webhook functionality right here. So let's post the contact data to our URL that we 
have from our active campaign. And then we will attach a query string and this is simply the character of a question mark and then our key which is score and then equals and here we need to enter by how many we want to count this action up by. So an email open is a pretty soft sign. I would say we would just say we want to count this up by one. By the way, you could also score behavior that is negative. So you could also say, uh, I want to actually deduct one. You just put a minus in front of that. But we'll just keep it at one and let's save this. Now, once the user opens the email, he goes into our automation and then we want to end this automation so he doesn't get stuck in it. So let's do that. Give this all a name and activate this automation. All right, that's all that is there is to it. From now on, all the users who open an email, any email will go through this flow and their score will be added up by one. Now, let's try this out. We can actually go into one of our contacts here and trigger this automation manually by just adding this automation right here, pressing OK. Now we don't have a score right now. Let's reload our contact. And we see number one is now added. We can actually do this again and again. So let's just for simplicity, the user goes through the flow again and it's counted up again. Now we can at any point change the actual scoring if we choose to make this maybe or decrease by one if an email open should decrease this number. So I just put a minus on here. Let's save this, try this out again. Add and reload. And we see now the score was decreased by one. We can also simply change any kind of number. So let's say we wanna add 100 to this. So I just put a 100 here and save this. Send the user through it again. Reload. And we now see 101 right here. So this works as expected. Now we can go ahead and build different automations, not only about open an email, but you have different other triggers to your disposal. As you know, you can increase this number upon a form submit. When a user clicks an email link or an event is recorded, I would actually recommend to check out this link by the team of Drip which is a competitor of Active Campaign, but they give you a very nice overview here on what lead scoring is, but also how you should use it in terms of what actions you should be tagging. So for example, here an email opens is one point, an email click would be three points, um, pricing consultation page, but also if a user uh, goes to a career page, you could give him minus 10 points because he indicated that he's probably not gonna buy your product, but rather wants to work with you. So check that out. I will link it in the description below as well. So I hope this functionality is useful to you. And don't forget, you can download the app script and copy it to your account so you can go through the steps and build your own scoring for free into ActiveCampaign at techmarketer.io slash scoring. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe because we bring you new videos every week. Now, my name is Julian, till next time.